the other. So uh, photo authenticator is up. Let's uh, integrate photo authenticator uh, to LDAP server. So go to your photo authenticator, then uh, on the photo authenticator dash page, come to authentication, come to uh, remote auth server and come to LDAP. On LDAP, create new, then name it um, your, any, you can give it any name then put the IP, uh, IP address of your head up server there, which is mine is uh, this. Then the distinguished name uh, will be the your domain name and also the uh, other extensions, which is this C across your domain and the other one, which is doc .com or .looker. Then in the binding, binding uh, type, we want to use regular and use username and password. I will use um, my username with uh, a service account with a privilege, a uh, level of uh, admin privilege. Then um, the password. Then once this is done, let's try and browse and see. Now we we'll see. Uh, that we're able to connect or to the LDAP server on port 389, then click OK. So this is working. We leave all every other thing as um, default. Um, so we we'll still come back to that. Once this is set up, uh, we just click save. And once this is save, we have the 40 authentic. We have the 40 uh, authenticator integrated with our LDAP server. So that's the first task. So now we've integrated uh, photo identificator to other server. The next thing is we need to import, import the users, import uh, remote users. So let's import remote users from the uh, Adap server into Photo Authenticator. So go to User Management under Photo Authenticator Authentication User Management, then uh, Remote Users. So on that year, you'd see LDAP, Radio, Samuel, Tuckers. Then one of the things you want to do is just import. So in importing, you select the LDAP server, which is the one you are currently integrated, and you set import users. Once you click this, all these users uh, will be imported. You see, I have six users here, which is administrator, uh, Bawale, Sim, Guest, Tools. I'm still going to create more and import for the sake of this um, for the sake of this uh, video. So click OK. Once you click OK, all the users uh, will be imported. So we have our uh, users imported. Then uh, the next thing for us to do is to you know create two groups and assign users to each of those group then we have to provision uh 40 token then come to 40 authenticator come to authentication come to remote um, users uh user groups under user groups create two groups the first one is the sales group then i'm going to um select the remote order and select the server and also we see set a list of imported remote LDAP server this is very important so you select this particular like one and also just select user for sales group i'm selecting Bowale and i'm putting into the choosing LDAP server group you can select multiple servers that you want them to belong to this group which is fine then the next thing is come to radius attribute and under radius attribute add uh, radius attribute then vendor you had uh fortinate then the group name you had uh fortinate group name then under here you put the same value that you have here and uh insert it here then you click save then uh we also create another group for finance so we have finance then same same way uh then let's let's select this administrator as one of our users for finance then radius uh fortinet uh group name Please be ensure that 
you have is I spell this correctly finance okay then sale so we've been able to you know create two group and I said so let's provision 40 authenticate uh, 40 token for a user so come in here you come to uh remote users you know double click on uh administrator then one of the things you want to do is just enable one-time password authentication for them and select 40 token and uh, mobile and select the token you would have uh, you know you would have you you need license for more 40 token you need to purchase license for more 40 token and you know install it on 40 authenticator so you have a list of 40 token to, to share with your um, users so uh deliver code by 40 token activation method you can use so this will now be useful activation method delivery method will be email so once you do this an email will be sent to uh the user to scan the code uh there's there will be a barcode um that the user will scan to be able to you know install the 40 t token on the on the users